I have created one more VSS gateway and installed a policy. Now let's go to gateway and server and create one virtual system. So creation of virtual system is simple. Just have you have to right click to the gateway and go ahead with the or you can go ahead with three dots and just go to the new VSX and the virtual system. Give it a name to the virtual system and the which gateway VSX gateway you want that virtual system to be installed. Next, uh, now add the interface for the VSX. So we are adding interface ETH2 and give it IP address 192.168.1.200 and give it a default mask 255.255.255.0 select OK So this interface will be the your interface uh, internal interface and the main IP address is also the same interface which we have given. Now select next and say finish. So the interface which we have created using that interface, uh, the virtual machine will be communicate to the rest of the world. So it's up to you, like you want to make that interface internal or external, depending on your requirement, you have to deliver that. Depending on that, you have to select the option. So now let's see the virtual system gateway creation is happening. The operation is progress. So let's wait for minute to complete this operation and we'll resume back So the operation is still in progress. Now it's completed successfully. Say close and uh, check if your virtual system is created. Before that, just go ahead and uh, try to see what policy is you know uh, currently installed onto your virtual system and the basic gateway and depending on the you know the correct policies uh, requirement install the policy so i'm just going to the vsx gateway and to check uh, what policy we have right now so right now i'm at the expert mode and let me pull up the uh, the policy details vsx stat minus v uh, if you see here, you can see there is a one VX uh, virtual system present and it's saying the initial policy installation. Uh, now, let's see uh, on the dashboard if we can uh, install the policy. Let's install the policy which we just created like a standard policy where everything is allowed for the demo policy. So for now I am just selecting a virtual system and I am just installing the policy to it. So let's wait for the policy installation to get completed.
so look like the policy installation successfully completed now let's go ahead into the VSX gateway and check the status of the current policy so I can see now the standard policy is installed with the VS1 and I think we are now good to do the upgrade so let me just go ahead and go to the you know virtual system one and check the uh, version there so right now as you can see there is a r80.30 os installed uh, for vsx upgrade uh, vsx and virtual system upgrade you need to go to the management server and from the management server you need to deliver this upgrade so there is a command called vsx underscore util upgrade you have to run that command and once you run this command you you will prompted for management server ip address where your vsx gateway is installed i mean from where you have configured the vsx gateway so give it a management server ip address in my case it's 192.168.1.101 then it will ask you for the username and the password once you give that it will ask you what vsx gateway to perform the operation in my case we have uh, i want to go for the vsx uh, gateway 2 so i put it number 2 and then it is asking me like which version you want to go so right now i want to go with the r80.40 and once you give that number number 3 is r80.40 the process will start uh the upgrade process will start and you will be you know seeing the thing on the screen uh most of the time uh this process uh get failed uh, somehow due to the one or the another reason uh, but don't worry about it although the process get failed uh, the upgrade uh, is took place you can see that you know you know in next things uh, just wait to complete these things and uh, I will walk you through so now I can see uh, the upgrade operation is finished and i can see the database and everything is got installed now it's asking me you know just uh, if you want to go for the clean install clean installation and if you say yes because this is uh, not a vsx uh what we call this is not a hotfix installation it's just the os installation so we go with the clean installation and we'll select the appropriate option for that then it will ask you for the you know activation key give it your activation key confirm your activation key and once you provide those details it will proceed for the upgrade and you will see uh, some failure here but don't worry about that it just uh, uh, due to the one or the another reason it get failed but uh, in background that upgrade process is completed so as you can see the process is started uh, certification revocation is done and as i said it's uh, failed due to one or the another reason so this is the logs uh, where the uh, details of the fill uh, uh, the why it's fail messages get stored just go ahead into that and see why it's failed uh, probably will get the reason that uh, due to the load on model fail or some some you know a silly reason but don't worry about that uh, if you you know uh, check your Gaia OS you will see that the version upgrade there although you might see there is some failures like a sick failure or the communication between the management server and the gateway is failed but that is fine you can reestablish that and you know from there you will take it this further so I'm just you know uh, into that uh, log uh, files which uh, uh, prompted for us and if you see there is something called please uh, check connectivity to the gateway so that is fine because of the process is delivered because of that it's giving me such error so if you just open that gateway and if you see i can see the r80.40 version now over there although i can also see there is something like uh, you know any uh sick uh initialization failure so that only part you need to fix so next couple of steps i'll be going to perform that to just you know establish a sick so just watch those steps and we'll resume once that is delivered
so i am just giving a go ahead here to uh, reestablish a sick and i am giving it a new activation key for my gateway to communicate with the management server and now i am okay to reboot it gateway once the gateway is rebooted we'll join back for the next things I can see uh, gateway rebooting taking time but I believe uh, in background everything is delivered so let me just go ahead and reset the sick uh, from the uh, smart console and see if I I can you know establish the sick communication so let's see and okay the trust is established and I can see the sick is you know established between the management server and the uh, basics gateway and let me see uh yeah everything is looks good now the the basic operation is in progress as uh, every time you do some modification on the gateway object there is some operation uh, perform in background where the policy or some sort of configuration changes happens it this this is the normal process what we can see over there so let's wait to complete this thing still i can see the policy uh, rebooting thing but i think it's it's uh, just uh, some sort of error the operation is got completed and i can see there is r80.40 uh, vsx version uh, which is good thing and we can see the virtual system also is at r80.40 version <laughs> 